Okay, so first thing you want to do, just type in MSI Afterburner. And you guys see this. You can get it from Guru 3D. This is where I usually get it from. And just scroll down to the bottom and you'll see 4.63 stable final. And give it a few five seconds, it'll download. And so so when it installs, it's going to install two different programs. First one is going to be Afterburner, and the other one is going to be Riva Tuner Statistics. This is just for like seeing stuff on the screen where it says like the temperature, the GPU usage, your frame rate, stuff like that. So you can put that on or off. It doesn't really matter. Um, it just shows up like what it says right here, this little... little um, this is like your screen, what your screen would be, and it shows up in the top corner here. And then, so an afterburner, let's minimize that. Afterburner, um, yours, yours might look different when you load it up, but basically what you want to do is you want to set this power limit all the way up to full, and you can prioritize the power limit or the temperature limit. There might be a something here that's like connecting these two, but um, I'm not, I can't quite remember what it is for the 1080, but I put this at full. And then the other thing you do is you go into this option here and you go to fan and this will be off and you click enable user defined software, automatic fan. And there will be points here already. And you can just click on them and hit and hit delete to delete it. And then you just click to make a new one. So, oops, how do you do that? Um, what I like to do is put a, I like to put one at, um, 40 speed and 30 Celsius. That means the fans will be running at 40% when the car is at 30. And then I put another one at 68 and 100. So that is basically if the car ever gets up to 68 Celsius, it's going to be, the fans will go at a hundred percent. So it's basically trying to keep the car underneath 68. You just hit apply, hit okay. Um, you might need to turn on like auto here. Um, I'm not sure if it, it will be the same for you. And then you can also just save your profile. You just can click on one of these buttons here, click save. And it's, and when you click on it and click the check mark here, it should automatically save your details. So power limits up. Uh, you can put the temp, li temp limit down to whatever. I put it at 75. Basically, um, if the card ever reaches 75 Celsius, then it will power itself down so it never gets over 75. The core clock and the memory clock, you, this is like where you can overclock the card, but I don't really mess with that because the cards already come overclocked by EVGA. So you're not going to get much more out of it. And then if you overclock too much, it starts to cause like... Um, frames to skip ahead and stuff which you don't really want so i just leave that as is and that's pretty much it you just minimize it and it will run in your taskbar and it'll just it will run while your system's on and it'll keep the car cool and you basically get free performance out of it let me know if you have any more questions about it though